Alrighty gang, so as you figured by now, I am skipping ahead through a lot of the uh, reassembly process. Um, I've already done the little reveal of the car, but um, yeah, I've got it back in the shed and now I'm deciding I'm going to paint the wheels because they look crap, all the clear coats paint, um, peeled and I want black wheels, so I'm going to paint them today. Um, I'm doing a, a plasti zip on the inside of this bit here. Now I know a lot of people are not going to like the design or they're going to say something about plasti dip but you know what i'm doing it so shut up it's happening um it just breaks up the front bar a bit makes it look a bit cooler you know as cool as an xl front bar can be uh, also i noticed when i had the car together that this was all white and it was showing through and it looked really crappy so i've just quickly thrown some rags behind to mask it up and i'm just doing a, a coat of black there just to hide all the um the rio behind there just to make it look a bit nicer um, so yes, I will do a bit of time lapse of um, doing a plastic dip on this and also of painting the wheels. Let's do it. We're all masked up, ready for the uh, plastic dip. Um, so as you know, plastic dip is kind of a, a temporary plastic coating and the problem with it is when you peel off masking tape, it actually peels the dip off with it. So what I found out is you do um, three coats, first two coat normal and in the third coat, while it's still wet, that's when you peel your tape off and hopefully it leaves it behind and you get a nice sharp edge where the tape was. Only time will tell. I'm actually more concerned about the blue paint coming off with the masking tape. That's a pretty amateur job. We'll find out what happens. Once again, I haven't been doing that much filming because I'm just trying to get all this stuff done. Um, plastic dip goes on shit, but uh, it seems to be drying okay. You gotta lay it on really thick. So I've done the second coat now. And we'll do the third soon. Um, front bar's pretty much done. I'm just letting that dry. And the wheels out here in very windy Melbourne um, just need a lot of sanding. So I'm just sanding everything down. I had to wire brush the inside. I'm not going to do a super duper good job on these. They're just going to be spare wheels later on. I do want to get some better wheels at some point. So uh, for the time being, they're just going to be painted black and hopefully that'll cover up how crappy they are. But um, yeah, later on, we'll get some schmicko wheels and they'll just be maybe wet weather tires or spares or something cool anyway let's uh, keep on going <laughs> so what happens when you buy really good masking tape but you're a shit ass painter the paint comes off with the masking tape <laughs> it's not a big deal I'll, uh, I'll touch it up with a brush later it's just the rounded bits where I probably didn't sand it properly and it didn't stick as well um, but the black looks cool and it didn't peel off the plastic dip so that's rad Anyway, we'll uh, wait till that dries, pop it back in the car, touch up my uh, stuff ups, see how it looks. Okay, something else I'm doing is with the headlights on uh, track cars, you have to put a film over it. So you can put a clear film, like a contact, or as like VA supercars do, and a lot of people do, is a coloured film, considering I'm never going to be racing this thing at night. Well, I sincerely doubt it. So, going with the black theme, I got some black wrap. So it's a black tint that you stretch over. I am absolutely horrific at doing this. It was my first go ever. Um, I got one of them not too bad. It looks pretty good. The, uh, the side lights look pretty terrible. Got lots of bubbles in them. Um, the main headlight on that side, that didn't come out too bad either, but both the side lights are pretty shit. Um, the wrap was, the tip was $11 for the whole lot, so it wasn't much. Um, so I'm going to put it in how it is for now, and then maybe later on if I get better at it, I'll redo them. But it's super easy, you just rip it off, go again. I've also got a bluey, greeny chameleon tint I got from China for 6 bucks or something, so I can give that a crack as well. But uh, yeah, going with the black theme, since I don't need the headlights, wrap them up and do the old uh, black and blue, huh. which uh, I reckon looks pretty cool. So we'll put them in and see how it looks. Okay, once again, not a pro job, not the best job, but I reckon it looks pretty bloody cool. I'm stoked with that. Yay! Now yeah, let's get these wheels done, plus I want to clean up the wheel arch because there's a bunch of blue dust in there from when I painted. Um, and I also want to uh, clean up the engine bay because it's filthy as well. We're all 
taped up. Now, save me having to tape the entire freaking tire. Ah, the entire tire. I'm like Dr. Zeus. Um, I've just cut out a circle here. Now it'll fit over the top like that, and I can just move that from wheel to wheel, and that saves me having to mask everything. Huzzah! Let's paint these suckers. Here's something I forgot to mention. So I'm painting these wheels with this VHT wheel paint. This is just uh, Autobahn stuff. I've used this on a few wheels. It is actually really, really good. It is super duper strong. Um, doesn't flake, it sticks. I mean, this is my experience, but I've done uh, two sets of wheels with it now and it works out really good. So if you're not willing to go and pay thousands for someone to re powder coat a wheel or two pack it or whatever, um, and you just want to make your wheels look semi-decent or change the color, I'd give this a crack because I, I did the Sora wheels with this when I bought them and it's still going strong after two years and that's dirt roads, all sorts of weather and yeah, they're, they're holding well. So we're going to use this on the nugget wheels and hopefully that should uh, serve us just as well. Let's get to it. Done. Our wheels are painted. Oh, I love working with that paint. It's so good. It just goes on super well. Doesn't run. It uh, looks pretty cool. This is a satin finish. It's not super shiny, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So we'll uh, stick them back on once they dry, take the masking tape off, and we're almost done with the car for today. Huzzah. So while we're waiting for the wheels to dry, I'm just going to show you a few bits. So. Uh, We've got ourselves the Nugget Project badge, which we got on there, which is pretty sick. Uh, we finished up our bonnet pins, so all we had to do is just uh, drill the holes and put some pot rivets in there, and they are sorted. Uh, one of the things we did was the um, kill switch, so that's wired in now, and if we pull on that, that'll kill the kill switch inside, so that's awesome. That was pretty easy, just drilled a hole. Uh, we painted up our windscreen wipers because they were absolutely gross and rusty, and I got some new blades uh, from the guys at Wiper Tech, who I've done some photography work for before, and they're really nice blokes, and they come next day, so if you ever need blades, I'd see those guys, they're pretty nice dudes. We got our spoiler back on, and the spoiler light, the brake light, was actually dead. So I went to the records, I went to pick a part, and I got ourselves another one, but it was too big. I have no idea, it came off the same car, same spoiler, all that. So I actually had to uh, cut, trim it down, and then silicon it up so it didn't leak. Um, but that's all wired in now and working well. And also I did the boot seal. So the boot seal was all chopped up and leaking. So while I was in there, I pulled one off the car and put it in there. And we've still got a carbon fiber spoiler, which I know will have to come off when we join the XL League. But for now, hell man, downforce. Well, there we go guys, there's my little wanky reveal video. I kind of had to do it, I've got a steady cam. I've got a drone, why the hell wouldn't I do it? And um, I reckon this thing looks pretty cool. So, um, is it a good paint job? No, not even slightly. Am I stoked with it? Yes, very much. Um, as I mentioned in the past video, uh, that was purely an exercise in learning how to paint and giving it a crack. I've never painted a car before and there's no way I'd do it to one of my cars, like one of my street cars, so, that's why I've got the nugget. I can do all these things. I can paint it and plastic dip it and do terrible film job on the headlights, which is just getting worse in the sun, but we'll fix that later. Looks good from a distance. Like from back here, it's fine. Just don't go any closer. Um, yeah, it's cool. So anyway, um, where, where do we go from here? Um, I've actually got to take a few weeks off. Uh, I've got some other things to do in my life that uh, this car has been taking up a bit too much time. As I mentioned, it's about an hour and 10 each way to come and work on the car. So uh, if I come down here two or three times a week, it, it's eating up a lot of my week. The rest of the week sort of um, going off and working and things like that. And I've been going away for work. So I've been sort of uh, neglecting home life. So I'm gonna take a few weeks just to, uh, yeah, catch up and do some things, which would be cool. Um, the videos are going well, I have no idea why, but we're up to 10,000 views now, so a lot of you guys are watching it, and that's fantastic. Um, it's funny, I'm actually finding we've got uh, three different types of viewers in this channel. We've got uh, the, the hardcore racers, who are the ones who are really interested in racing. Um, all good blokes, very, very knowledgeable, uh, and, and girls, we've had a few uh, 
female viewers, which is really cool. Um, the thing I find with uh, a lot of the races is it's all about who cares about the aesthetics, just get it painted, get it done, give it to somebody else to paint, just get on a racetrack. Um, as I've mentioned before, yes, I'm going to race this thing, but right now it's, um, I'm having fun building it. It's, it's part of the project, the Nugget project. Um, the second type of viewer we've got is the uh, why the hell are you spending so much time on a cheap little shopping trolley car? That's a good point. But as I've mentioned, this car is, once again, for me to stuff around with it. So I, I can do stupid paint jobs, I can do door skins, I can make air boxes and things like that. Um, so it's, you know, it's, uh, yes, it's a cheap car and I know I would probably put just as much effort into a, a more expensive race car, but I could never afford a more expensive race car. So there we go. And the third type of viewer we've got is the perfectionist. This is the, why on earth did you do that? You should have used this paint. You should have used um, this for an air box. You shouldn't have done that with the skins. You should have, um, you know, rounded the edges and all this stuff. Um, that probably refers back to the last type of person. It's a $500 car. And yes, I want to do some stuff to it, but let's, let's be realistic. I'm not going to spend that much money on this thing. Um, there is a fair chance it's going to end up in the kitty litter or in a wall or something like that within the next year and a half and um yes i'm gonna be sad if and when that happens but i'm gonna be a lot sadder if i threw a two thousand dollar paint job into it or if i i don't know whatever else expensive things that people have been suggesting so yeah i really appreciate all the viewers um and it's a funny mix every time i put out a video i get 10 to 15 20 messages mixed with all these different types of people um, and depending on what I did that day, I'll have one group that goes, yeah, that was sick. And the other two groups going, no, that was crap. You did it all wrong. Uh, so it's, it's kind of funny to get the mix. I take it all with a grain of salt. Hell, if anybody has read any YouTube comments, I know it's, it's cancerous. It's, it's a horrible place. <laughs> so I appreciate the people who've been giving me support, people who've been giving me advice and, um, people have got their own opinions. That's awesome. You can do that to your own race car. This is mine. So I'm going to do it my way. Um, thanks again for watching. And uh, yeah, thanks to, I've had a few people um, offer me help when I go to races. Like somebody, um, David, once again, offered me to give me a bit of race training, which is super appreciated because I'm going to be all over the place. Um, I've had mates uh, say it'll come down and be sort of pit crew, which is awesome. Uh, I've had a lot of people who are building XLs and they're up to similar stage as me. And they're all sending me pictures of their cars and stuff. So it's a cool little race community. I love it. It's, um, it's awesome. Um, so to finish up, uh, we're going to say goodbye now. Uh, I went and saw our mate Rob, who's doing the roll cage. Uh, we uh, did have a couple of photos, but we're going to do some more when I get back. Um, I managed to jam Rob's finger in the roll cage of the mini I was helping out with. So sorry, Rob. I feel really bad about that. Um, <laughs> but uh, he's, he's still alive and he is still working. So yes. Any, any work on roll cages or exhaust, please uh, throw him to work because he is a legend and he does amazing work. Um, so the next thing we do is when we get back, uh, strip out the uh, sound deadening in this, uh, pull out the dashboard and then it's off to Rob and he's going to build us a kick-ass roll cage, which I'm going to paint a really funky colour, but I'm not going to tell you what colour yet. Ooh, uh, you'll just have to wait. So until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.